unbelievable. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to answer the question as to when do you start buying or when do you get into a particular stock that we've profiled here on the channel? Because I've gotten a ton of questions for or comments from some of you guys uh, saying that, oh, the stock is down 21% or the stock is crashing or you know, all sorts of comments. And so I kind of want to answer that question here today. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to you investing in the market, again, I use the word investing. This is not trading. I mean, investing because when it's investing, you're looking at a long term. So you're looking at companies that you want to buy and hold uh, long term. So you could be a swing trader, which is good, which you can just see an opportunity, go in, make some money and get out. You have investors that are looking at companies that if I buy today at this ridiculously cheap price i can hold it and sell it or even hold it for the long run and make a lot of profit so today again we're looking at long-term investors so when i see people complain about the price of the stock going down it's always so funny to me because uh the analogy that i can give you is that uh this is the only place the stock market is the only place where when everything is on sale people run away i've never seen that in any other place Think about it, uh, when it comes to Black Friday, you see people, besides this year with COVID, but you see people like standing in line in the cold and just bashing into the stores to go get 20%, 30% off TVs and uh, iPhones, some electronics that they care about. So, but when it comes to the stock market, when the price is going down, people are running away, they don't want to buy. As a matter of fact, people in, 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 that trade, and if you're not a good trader, if you're not even a good investor, and I, I'm going to go back to investing. If you're not a good investor, you're going to be the guy that's buying high and selling low, which is a complete opposite of what the market is supposed to, you're supposed to do in the market. You're supposed to buy low and sell high. So whenever the price is going down, whenever the stock market is on sale, you're supposed to be excited. You're supposed to jump in and start buying. And again, guys, I've talked about this countless times on the channel. When you go in to buy a position, if the price is going down, you don't just jump because you cannot determine what the bottom is going to be. So you start to average your way down. Again, I've said don't jump in. If you have $5,000 to deploy in a particular stock and the price is going, you set your first price target. You say let's say the stock is $50 and you say if it hits $40, I'll, buy my, I'll spend my first $1,000. And yet for $40, you buy your first $1,000. If it keeps dropping, you wait and see where it, it, it continues to go. You get your next $1,000 and just keep averaging your way down because you don't know where it's going to stop and turn around and start going back up. So that is the secret of this, the, the, the market for investors. When everything is on sale, that's where you are supposed to be excited as an investor to go in because it's going to turn around and go back up. Most people get excited when the price is going up and then they jump in buying at the very top. And guess what? If it reverses, you're stuck up there in the red and then you're sitting there, cross your fingers, hoping that it would come back to you. That is not how you invest. When you see the price of the stock jumping and going up like that, you wait patiently for a good entry point. It would always come back to you. Look at all the best stocks out there. You can sit there and think, oh, you have the fear of missing out, no FOMO. But if you wait and just exercise some patience, these stocks usually come back to you. So I really want to kind of push this home for you guys. When when you, I see these comments about people, it's like, oh, but this, the price is crashing. That is the best time for you to buy. Why would you want to buy when the price is going up? I mean, pretty much so you, you want to buy at a tip to sell low. This, it doesn't work that way. If you do that, if you do that way, you're never going to make money in this market investing. So you want to buy when it's low. So when you see it, you see a company that you like and it's crashing, the price is going down. That's where you start looking to get in because at that low point, once it reverses, there's only up for you at that particular point. But when you buy it at the very tip, if it reverses, you're sitting up there 
isolated, waiting, fingers crossed that it comes back to you and you don't know exactly when that is going to come back to you. So I think this is a very, very important point. I wanted to bring this up to you guys because again, when I see comments like that, that simply tell me that is some of you guys don't quite understand just how the market works and when you should go into a position. This again, like I said, the whole idea here is that you should buy low to sell high. Buying high and selling low, it doesn't work unless you're like saying there, you want to give out all your money uh, in the market. But otherwise, always, always target to go low and, and sell high. And also, I want you to change your mindset. This is a this is a mindset switch because most people when they think about the stock market when it's crashing, there is this whole panic. People start hitting the sell button, sell, 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 sell. And that, that panic is what continues to drive the price down. But if you are a smart investor, once you see that, you just stay calm, just get your money ready, being just excited. As soon as it gets to the price point that you feel comfortable in, you start to get in. So I'll give you a good example. So I mean like a stock that I, I profile here on the channel, ticket symbol L-A-Z-R, that stock went all the way to about $41 and some, some change. And then just in the past two days or so, it's crashed almost 20%. But everybody started to panic. It's like, well, what's going on? But and I'm thinking to myself, like, why are you panicking? I mean, as a matter of fact, unless this company is going bankrupt, usually the market does this wave. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. This is your opportunity. And I bet you these are the same people that in a month from now they're gonna be like man i wish i had bought the stock at that price when it dropped down to 29 dollars or 25 dollars you're just sitting there and, and just like wishing because you didn't take action so i want you to start changing your mindset to knowing that when you see the price down in that red when you see a stock as a reputable company uh because of some reason the price drops down below where it's supposed to be trading that's when you want to deploy capital that's where you want to get in and see secure and get that position at the very bottom there so that once it starts to squeeze up you just sit back and relax and watch it go up and then when it gets up there you can make the decision how you want to secure your profit or you want to let it ride but at that point you are not sitting there hoping hope is not a strategy in the market if you use hope as your strategy i bet you you're not going to make it you're going to be just eaten out here and speed out like a like a cockroach or whatever it is but guys Again, your mindset, change it from the, the fact that when the price of the stock is crashing, that's when you get excited. Compare it to the exact situation when you walk into a store, you see the sign that says 50% off, you're like, oh, that's where you run and go check like what are they what what's what's the deal here 50 percent of like you start looking for deals you should do the exact same thing with the stock market it just it exercise it the same way once you see a price of a stock drop that's where you want to run I, I can give you here like look at tesla just in the last two months tesla went back all the way to like 350 bucks and everybody was like whoa what is wrong with tesla are they gonna go bankrupt and then guess what in less than a month, Tesla like blew past in all the way to over six hundred dollars a share. And those same people are gonna sit in there like, oh man, what happened? I wish I knew. I could have bought it when it was at three fifty. But you knew it very well. But your mind told you not to because that is not something that you have trained yourself. So you have to train yourself to think that way. So I want to put this guy, this one out there for you guys because I think it's very important that this mindset, you have it and be able to exercise it because um, that's the best way that you can actually get in at a very good position in the market. Not getting all the way at the very tip and then hoping that it keeps going up. You want to just plan and get in at the bottom. And again, you have to exercise a lot of patience. Don't sit there and think that oh, everybody's making money and I'm not. Just wait. It's going to come back to you. You get in and then ride it all the way up. So let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this? Is this something that you struggle with? Like, hey, buying high and trying to sell high? Um, or do you have a strategy to kind of wait, exercise that patient to buy low and then ride it up? Again, yeah, let me know in the comment section. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you are looking to get started with investing, guys, 
we boys doing a promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get four free stocks uh just for signing up and, and i mean it values somewhere between eight dollars and sixteen hundred dollars so definitely take advantage of this and as always guys always do your homework don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated